Hello, my friend. Welcome back. Using demo and tools to learn CISSP. I'm Chen Zhang, Microsoft Azure MVP, AWS Certificate Solution Professional. Okay, I think we are approaching to the end of our totally series video, and uh, I think uh, more we are more closer we are approaching to the final destination and uh, uh, more interesting the demo will show to you. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, from the first part of the domain seven, I had already show you the concept of the uh, traditional data center operation and management. Uh, I used the system center uh, product portfolio to give you the concept of uh, what is a management platform, what is the uh, monitor platform and uh, how to uh, combine them together to make them as a very, very uh, smart, uh, uh, automatically uh, handle uh, process uh, platform. Just like the demo video I show you uh, in 2013, uh, it's the Stoke Trader, a famous .NET demo uh, application. And uh, uh, I used the uh, uh, SCVMM operation manager, Service Manager, Ox Trader, uh, plus with the Hyper-V, uh, plus with the IS uh, to make the uh, automatically scale out uh, with the uh, service management uh, concept. Okay. And uh, uh, from the uh, next one, I had already shown you the LibreMS to monitor the devices and manage the asset. Okay, it's quite, uh solid i think you know LibreMS is so good the open source platform and uh, uh, managed by the community okay so today i will show you something uh hot topic now the kubernetes okay you know i will use the kubernetes to build a lot of balance and uh, ultra scale nginx web farm uh the intention i use uh, the NGX here is NGX. Uh, everyone uh, should be familiar with the NGX platform, okay? It's the uh, pro the modern uh, proxy platform, so good. And uh, uh, the Kubernetes is a new, uh, I don't want to say it's a new platform because but compared with other, you know, the traditional uh, platform Kubernetes uh, is, newer than other platform and it's still a hot uh, topic now if you want to seek job uh, you prefer to know what is kubernetes and what it can do what the benefit to our it or even to the or the organization the value it's a long long story okay and uh, uh, my environment is quite simple i will just use two physics nodes to make the uh, HA uh, for the Kubernetes, which means if you uh, just need to maintain this one node and uh, you have to uh, restart or uh, you know the, the uh, one node have to uh, suspend and uh, you see everything will automatically uh, transfer to another load uh, by uh, you don't need to do anything it's automatically just like the concept of the uh, fail over cluster. Uh, we are familiar with the fail over cluster, okay? But uh, I can still remember in the Windows 2000, 2003, if we want to uh, achieve a fail over cluster, you need to do a lot of job and steps. First, you need to rely on the uh, the, the shared uh, storage by the SAN, by the, uh, the, the, the IP SAN, or by the, you know, by the FC. So you need the hardware to support it okay then you need to build the cluster then you have to uh, install the application based on your uh, cluster such as a uh, uh, ha dhcp uh, ha uh, hyper v or ha uh, uh, website everything you know a lot of job but now you see it's very strong you don't need to do anything you just install kubernetes and uh, you know add two nodes it's gone it will help you to build the HA automatically okay and uh, uh, i will use the nginx to build a farm uh, first uh, 
uh, I will not go through the concept of the deployment service uh, HBA, HPA dashboard uh, because that's the basic uh, knowledge of the Kubernetes. I will just show you the same concept as my previous video show you. Build the automatically load a balance system. And by default, maybe we will just have one instance or you can see one port. That's almost the same concept, okay? And uh, I will use another tools to add some load. Then your monitor system will capture the load and it will trigger uh, the floor you defined uh, previous and uh, or to magically get out your web farm and up everything. Uh, if there is no load anymore, it will scale down. So you see, it's dynamic. It's very dynamic and automatically so good. So you see from the uh, NGX uh, farm, we will have a, a minimum concept of the deployment. We will uh, have the deployment of the NGX, maybe with just the one node and uh, give the uh, resource limitation of the 100M. 100M means 100 mini CPU. That's the default you know, parameter for this node for this port, sorry, for this port. Okay, so here you see, under the Kubernetes, we don't even to uh, get idea of the container, right? So it's, you know, advanced than Docker, then, you know, the, the, the Docker concept, then the container concept. So everything should be uh, just using the concept of orchestration, right? And uh, uh, we will have a service, the service to make everything uh, will be load balanced with the uh, service IP address so we can access the node uh, using the, just like the uh, centralized uh, IP address. So uh, service, we can achieve the uh, load balance. So HPA is the concept of the monitor and orchestrator. So I will show you use this commander to see the uh, HP setting, the minimum one mix uh, should be five, sorry, mix one should be five. This one to five, just the number of the instance uh, in our uh, web farm uh, by our uh, definition and the CPU percentage will be the uh, 20 uh, percentage. So that's very easy to understand. Okay, so if, if the service here, uh, the NGX, your CPU percentage, uh, you know, exceed to the 20% to will scale out. So that's like just the, the threshold, right? That's just the threshold. So you see, also the concept, the, the service deployment, HPA, maybe they have the different terms in the Kubernetes than our traditional data center, but the concept is always the same. Even in the next video, I will show you by the AWS, you see, maybe we will have the different settings, but the concept, I have to stress again, the concept remains the same. You just need to know the concept. It should be your first priority, okay? And give the load to see what will happen, what it will trigger, okay? Uh, now we are uh, in our demo platform and I'm still uh, using uh, Hyper-V with two nodes, U1 and U2, as my uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster nodes, okay? And uh, uh, first, I can show you uh, the dashboard. You see, uh, even uh, in the LibreMS, uh, you need to configure the dashboard. Uh, uh, here, uh, we don't need to configure anything. It will automatically uh, capture using the service API concept, everything will be based on the uh, API. So that's the difference. I think that, or I think I see that the unique value, the most uh, great value of the Kubernetes, everything based on API and will discover it automatically. You don't need to add anything. You just need to config, config. So everything will automatically display on our uh, dashboard. And we can see here the our nodes, we have uh, two nodes with the uh, CPU usage, memory usage, uh, and the uh, workload, we can take a look. Deployments, it's the, our deployments, you see, I deploy lots of the uh, traditional uh, service, just like Tomcat and Jax, 
uh, Parachi, WordPress, Radius, uh, with the port, you even cannot see the uh, concept of the container on the uh, dashboard of the Kubernetes because you don't need to care about it. Okay. And uh, uh, we can take a look at the service, okay, uh, using the commander and this commander have already uh, connected to the Kubernetes dashboards and we will use kubectl get service. See, uh, we will see the nginx node port uh, with the uh, IP address and the port. So here we take a look. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so uh, we also can see how uh, the detailed information of the uh, this service. So we'll use the get service nginx. See, and uh, if we change the service with the deploy nginx here. Uh, we will see here we got the uh, just one node uh, and if we want to scale it's also very easy just to use the kub uh, scale but i want to uh, use the hpa to uh, do it automatically okay so first i will show you the how to set the our hpa the concept okay kub ctl describe HP Nginx. Uh, that's all, uh, all the uh, log. You see here the configuration, minimum, and the maximum will be five, and the current is one, one desired, and uh, that's the it current use the one percentage, you see, one M, and the maximum will be the uh, 20. So uh, we will switch to the loud test tools i will use another one use siege uh, just give the load to the ip address here okay we take a look okay and uh, i think it had uh start to give the load to our index so we will keep tracking uh, the kube ctl get hpa okay we can see here now it just the uh, zero percentage one to five because uh, we still need to uh, wait for some minutes to see the uh, the change okay Okay, we, we, we can see here, uh, just after one minute, okay, we will use the same command and we see here the CPU had been the 100%, uh, so it uh, totally maximum the our threshold, so it scale out to uh, from the one to now, it, the number is four, and we just take a look again. There you go, you see, it had uh, five replics, five nodes, uh, five ports totally and uh, we can even uh, see the log uh, use this command describe HPA injects we will take a look what happened what's the log inside this HPA you see new size 4 new size 5 it, it tell you everything what happened okay and uh, the same as if we stop our load if we stop our load it will uh, scale in right it will uh, save the resource if you don't need to use it so i think uh, the same concept but the kubernetes really does a lot of good jobs for us you know we don't need to config lots of different platform we don't need to uh, watch it or monitor it uh, by ourselves the uh, engine of the Kubernetes can really uh, help us to do the greater job. Just take a look. Uh, maybe to, you see the load has been done and it will uh, take some time to, uh, to, to do the scaling job. So 
Uh, this is a very easy demo of the uh, Kubernetes, but I hope you can really understand the best part. You see, the same artist gear, the same load balance, but we use different technology, different platform to do the same thing. You can make the comparison yourself. I don't want to say what platform is good or what platform is not good because every platform uh, got the uh, value for uh, each different uh, usage and uh, uh, scenarios. So we just need to know the common knowledge. That's the thing and that's important. Okay, so that's my demo today and uh, see you next time. Thank you.